Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this NIC Giga 2.5 gigabit PCIe gigabit ethernet card. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So it has an instruction manual here. This comes with a full height and half height bezel. It comes with screws and a screwdriver. So you want to insert it into a PCIe slot and then connect up the gigabit ethernet cable. It has an address here for downloading drivers. But as it says on this page here that Windows 10 and Windows 11 are driver free. And I'm going to be installing this on Windows 10. So here's the card itself. It's very clean. There's this chip here and there's a chip with a heat sink on it. And of course you have the port. Here's the half height bezel. Then we have our screws and our little screwdriver here. Okay, so I'm going to get my PC up here and we'll install it in the computer. Okay, so I have this NZXT PC case. I'll pull the cover off. Now every PC case is gonna be a little bit different. So I want to install the card right about here. So it's the second slot in of these available slots. So I want to take this screw out here. Now I'm using the screwdriver that came with it. Obviously a larger screwdriver will be a little easier. This does have a little cover over the conductors. I'll pull that off. One more thing on this case, I have to loosen these thumb screws and pull this little cover up to give access. Now I can put this card in. I'll line it up with the slot lined up on the outside and press it in. That went in very easily. Now on the outside, I'll replace the screw that I took out. And then I'll move this back down. Okay, I'm going to replace the side and then I'll boot it up and we'll test it out. Okay, so I have the PC plugged into the network. It's connected to a 2.5 gigabit ethernet switch. And then that switch is connected to a QNAP NAS, also at 2.5 gigabit. And on that NAS is running open speed test. So this is testing my network speed. So I got a download speed of 2.4 gigabits per second and an upload of 1.1 gigabits per second. Now the download speed looks okay to me. There are different factors that could keep it from getting exactly 2,500. So that is a speed you'd expect on the upload it seems we're about 1500 short and I've done this test many times and it always seems to kind of come up short like this. Now this uses a Realtek chipset. I've used a USB adapter with the same Realtek chipset and I have similar results with it. I get faster download than upload speeds. So what is my conclusion? Well if you really want the faster download speeds this could work well for you. If you want the faster upload also you might want to look at a different card. That being said 1.1 upload isn't horrible so if you're doing things like video editing you might want a faster network card but if you're just downloading things off the internet and say you do have fast internet where you're getting over a gigabit, then this card could work well. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.